بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على الموث رحمة للعالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Brothers and sisters, this is uh, the session number 15 and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all of your deed and your righteousness. So uh, we were dealing with uh, uh, Ayat al-Kursi and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Al-Hayyul al Qayyum, you know, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa Al-Hayyul al Qayyum. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says La ta'akhuduhu sinatun wa la naw. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never sleep in his life. He doesn't sleep. Neither slumber or sleeping affects Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that shows perf um, perfectness. You know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so perfect in the way he is so great, he doesn't need to sleep. And we understand from this that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never get affected by the physical weaknesses or spiritual weaknesses at all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't get affected by fatigue or weariness. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was re refuting those people who said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rested on Saturday, after the creation of the heavens and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuted them in Surah Al-Qaf. He says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْعَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ وَمَا مَسَّنَا مِنْ لُكُمْ We created those entities in six days and we would never get affected by the fatigue or weariness or tiredness. SubhanAllah. Allah is so strong. In a way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't get tired of anything. You know? And he has the power and the qudra and capability and ability to do, to do everything. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, he said, Inna Allah la yanam wa la yambaghi lahu an yanam. Abu Musa said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us five sentences about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are so great and powerful. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't sleep and it is inappropriate for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sleep. Qayyumu samawati wal ard. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kulli yawmin huwa fi sha'n Every single day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing something, you know. Yes, aluhu man fi samawat wal ard. All the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine how many things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. How many things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created? A lot. A lot, a lot. You know, just the human beings. Imagine how many human beings you have from Adam until the last one to be, to be created. How many jinns from the first one until the last one? How many angels? You know, how many insects, how many birds, how many fish, you know, how many things are created there which we don't know. Every single one of them is referring back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their need from A to Z. How is it possible for somebody who is of this nature to sleep, you know? The Prophet sallallahu said it is inappropriate for him to sleep because sleep, you know, is, is, a, is a result of you know, physical or spiritual weaknesses that a person has out of weariness or tiredness and then uh, he will be in a state of need to, to sleep. Allah SWT doesn't get that. So Abu Musa al-Ashari said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna Allah la yanam wa la yanbaghi lahu an yanam. Qayyumu samawati wal ard. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the one who takes care of the heavens and the earth. The heavens and the earth are under the care of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Every single thing that you see in this life or the one you do not see but you know about them are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why he says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allah is the Rabbul Alameen. Rabb means the creator, the owner and the controller of the Alam. What is Alam? Kullu man siwallahi azza wa jal. Everything other than Allah is called Alam and everything other than Allah is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Abu Musa al-Ashari said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Qayyumu samawati wal ard, the caretaker of the heavens and the earth. Who is that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is also a support to the, to the previous uh, name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Qayyum. Huwa qa'imun ala kulli nafsin bima kasabat. You know, Allah SWT is qa'imun ala kulli nafs. He's the one who is standing for every soul. And nobody's standing for Allah because he doesn't need anyone. Allah doesn't need the support of anyone. But there is nobody in this life who can stay away from the support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of these mentions are indirectly telling the believers that if you're looking for something, this is the one that you're looking for. Whatever you're looking for in this life or in the hereafter, the only source for you to get it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a suggestion, you know, 
That's the indication you got from these two names, Al Hayyul Qayyum, and the statement of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, La Ta'akhudhu Sinatun Wala No. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna Allah La Yanam, Wala Yambaghi Lahu An Yanam. He does not sleep, and it is not appropriate for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to sleep. Qayyum al Samawati wal Ard, and the one He is the one who takes care of the heavens and the earth. In the next session, inshallah, I will complete uh, this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. See you there, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.